Great. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix online meeting number 85, rolling our way, getting closer and closer to Halloween, which of course is a big deal, and we'll be talking about that soon. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded for those people that aren't here with us right here, right now. And without further ado, let's drop into the agenda. We'll do a triage, because that's what we do. We do that first, get the bugs out of the way. We'll talk about Wix 3.10.1 status. Um, I want to talk about the Wix online meeting time. Um, maybe moving it, probably moving it to fit schedules better since it's getting harder. And then questions, comments like always. Uh, there's not a lot to do, so let's go ahead and roll into triage. And the mouse cursor is gone, of course. All right, well, we'll do this. Do, do, do. Oh, there it's back. Bob, do I still have you around? You here? I'm still here. All right. Usually I check before we end up on this page. Um, yeah, it's okay. That's all right. According to that, under the maximum call, media supports cabin by default. In my mind, this makes the issue a bug instead of a feature. Claims it's already supported. What's well, already supported? Maximum cabinet size, smart cabin. Oh, yeah, smart cabin is supported because yep. it it's works. always supported. Yes. Um, the question is, you know, media smart needs to arrange things, yeah, more intelligently. Okay. Um, it's not a bug in my mind, but okay. Well, uh, we'll. Keep it in 3x. It's fine as a feature. It doesn't change anything anyway. Right. Uh, haha, this one. Yes, 4772. Effects of replacing this on the links make it not work on XP. Mm. Bummer. Yes, we're 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 pretty good about noticing when you know we're taking advantage of something that requires something later than XP, but. Well, maybe we got a little bit lazy occasionally, and this is one of them. Um, I verified it. It certainly is not working on XP. Um, have we verified this pull request actually fixes it? I have not done that yet. Okay, I, I saw this pull request come in one afternoon, and I was like, yep. this leaks memory like a sieve. We can't take this. So, yeah. Um, but I did notice before the meeting, because I poked into this, that he has um, fixed it. And right. it does now not leak. Thoughts? Well, I guess it's a matter of... To, to, take, to test it and make sure. Um, let's go down the happy path. What if it works? Um, I'm tempted to take it because right now EULA links are broken. Didn't we already take a fix in 3.10.1 for XP? Yeah, that's the only thing we've taken in 3.10.1. Is it for XP? Well, no. Oh. Jacob's fix was general, general. Uh, but my fix was for XP. For I, and this is a thing we changed in 3.10. Um, yeah, that's actually an interesting question. I don't know when this broke. Well, 526 would have been, would have been for a while. 10. Right? Yeah. Well, that's just when the bug was reported. It could have already been broken. Uh, oh. I'd have to go back and look at when. Well, this is know. a feature, so presumably the feature change broke it. Uh, that would be my guess. Yeah, no, this is a bug. Back to the philosophy of what's a bug, what's a feature. This is a bug. Um, the fact that it should use shell exec unelevated? Sorry, this was... Res oh, oh, no, 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 sorry, you're right, you're right. Um, this is a bug I, in a feature. I agree this with is, that. This is a bug in the feature that I did to use shell exec yeah. unelevated. Right. So I, it would have been ideal if this guy had opened a bug and said, hey, here's a bug, it was caused by 4772, but, you know, whatever. Um, no, this... This is a new bug. Or, no, it's not. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. What, what, what's the year today? I forget. No, this, you're right. This was a feature I opened to implement this thing. Five okay. months ago. Almost five yep. months ago. Yep. Okay. I'm on the same page now. And it has an issue with it on XP, which yep. means I probably, we probably should take this given the other XP fix that we just took. Yeah, I, I certainly lean that way. Anybody disagree? Anybody agree? Can I just uh, <laughs> do this right? No. <laughs> See, then I changed the question. <laughs> John's like, don't do that to me. I 
what we just go with the yeah we should do this so plus one huh all right the fact that we fixed something else for XP and then we broke this on XP probably means that we should take it I guess that's just where I'm at yeah well again I'm I'm I think it's important but primarily because it's for a Eula link yeah if it were, oh yes you know, yeah. general general problem yeah. with, with uh, we should take it. Eula links I'd be like eh, but it's we use it in Eulas so This is still ah all right. So Bob looked at the logs on this this thing. Look at the logs. There's enough data to figure out what's going on. Is there a bundle log for this? Can you share the bundle process mon? All right, cool. So we put out a question. I think we'll keep this around for a little bit longer since this is continuing to go back and forth. Not that I like having bugs just hang out, but you know whatever. Yeah. Support for MSI embedded. Um, Technicalities of doc doesn't mention use of MSI tables. Yeah, right. I was like, yeah, you know. Yes. So he's like, it should still work for embedded UI, but it doesn't. And then there's discussion. Oh, yes. I looked at this link about setting client UI level and things like that, except we don't set client UI level. MSI right. sets client UI level. Yep. And I don't yep. think that we can set client UI level without being trumped by the Windows installer anyway. So I still think we're kind of stuck here. Um, yeah, this, well, this is the problem is Burn is running as an external UI handler, and that prevents embedded UI from working. Is that that's right? That's right. So I exactly. mean, exactly. That's exactly what's happening. Is there anything that Burn could do without? I mean, because it doesn't seem to me that Burn can can that it fits very well with Burn to drop external UI handling. I mean, this is this is this to me. This seems like a you know I want the batch file and you know I want the the, the prereq installer, not a, a chainer. Uh, yeah, uh, it doesn't seem to me that it, it's it, it's like feasible for Burn to do this without you know becoming less than it was. Yeah, we'd have to drop the internal UI. Hand, or external UI handler um, and let this thing run and then somehow the right thing happen, I think. That's assuming just dropping a string UI handler is enough. Um, yeah, it's it's necessary and it might not be sufficient. I still think we leave this at 4x and we can cover it as a feature. So so the is there is there any chance that it could be implemented? Well, someone's going to have to go figure out all these parts and we'll have to decide. And honestly, we need to have a discussion about dropping internal and external UI at all. Well, so, but it's not yeah, happening. That's in the three. other reason. That's the other reason. It's not happening in three. It's already in four. Right. So it's not happening in three. So I think we just keep it four X and we leave it open in four X. And okay. And when do we want to have the Discussion about display internal UI. We should have that, not right now. <laughs> Soonish, I guess, but not right now. I don't want to go and do it right now. Have to think about all of the rep implications of it. So, alrighty. But anyway, it's in the right place. It's in 4x. If we could fix it, that's where we would fix it. Yep. Sure, if we can. Certainly not with client UI level. That won't do it. And no. um, uh, yeah. Build server without admin rights fails with light. Oh, this is ICE execution. Right. Okay. Yay. Yes. ICEs don't like to run there. See, icebreakers. We should get those done. That would be awesome. Working on it. Yeah, Working I know. On. Here. Um, light when output with Unicode characters, light will fail. Oh. I thought this might be ICEs as well. Uh, Except it's it's cab. cab. Yes. Ca cabs don't support Unicode paths. They only support um, the cab APIs. Do not support Unicode paths. I'm glad they provided a stack trace. This is very helpful. Well, that's why I asked. Yeah. And yes, yeah, there's, like there's, said, all the items, code, there's all this code in the cab stuff swapping between Unicode, which we use everywhere, and right. the non-Unicode, which for to use to the, the cab API, which we don't have a lot of control over. Um, uh, let's open it in 3x. Someone could go investigate and see if there's a better way of doing it. But as I mean, that's the problem. 
the CAB API I know uses um, 3x. And yes, it certainly could fail with a better error message than any light 001 is a bad error message. So let's toss it in 4x if someone wants to go hunt this thing down. Maybe there's some magic to do with UTF-8 or something. CAB API is ancient. Offer Wix is network framework 4x or later installed in burn. Oh yes, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Bob. <laughs> so much yes, it would. Um, yeah. Although it occurred to me, uh, this might actually have a prerequisite of another feature that offers the equivalent to a set property. Um, mm -hmm. You can't do this by a reg key. Oh, I see. You need to do a series of checks to. Oh, right. This is the highest of one of many kind of thing. Right. Right. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, something like set property might be interesting. I have to design it, but anyway. Right. I agree with this. This feature could totally be done. That'd be fantastic. Yep. Standard BA hyperlink success headers overlap. Um, and disable equals yes for each of them. Is not reproducible on every machine. Hmm. Whoa. Well, isn't that one of the ones that only one ends up showing? Right, and and this was kind of my confusion when I looked at this earlier today. I'm like, well, those are those are the loc strings. So this isn't, you know, those are those would all be resolved. So like, if this almost looks like a theme viewer shot, I'm like, yeah, they they overlap by design, but. I'm, I'm, yeah, not exactly clear what uh, the actual issue is here. All right, so I guess we need to put, should we ask that question and leave it open for a week? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. With the real version? Well, he's three, giving us 10, 21 or 3. Assuming that's... That's... RTM or three. I don't think it's really compiled with three ten. Okay, How, such suspicion, Sean. How, well, I don't know what he's getting at. What are you getting at, Sean? It, you think he has a custom build of three ten or something else? That's why I want to build with 3A. Ah. So if you don't have support, yeah, if you don't get the new 3.10, then it doesn't work. Oh, so someone using a 3.10 theme with 3.8? Or like a customized theme from 3.10 with an earlier version? Yeah. Or with, yes. or with Wix 3.8 that doesn't hide them all, like 3.10 does? Well, yeah, but you should only get them. If, yeah. You should only get them from from a three eight build if you're using a custom theme. But you picked one. No, it's the opposite of that, Jacob. The because the three eight theme themes don't have the the different messages: the install, uninstall, repair, whatever. Um, but the 310 themes do. So if for some reason you wanted to customize one and you just like grabbed it from, from GitHub and then started to customize it, you'd have all these extra strings that would not get, uh, first of all, they wouldn't get resolved, which explains the screenshot, um, because the Wixels don't have, 38 Wixels don't have those strings. That's right. And they would, you know, show up. They would overlap like that. Because all the code to handle the selection is in Wix standard BA. All right. Let's leave it open for one week, and we'll see where we get next week. That might yep. be a good thing to capture in there, too. All right. Wix 3.10.1 status. The build ended up getting posted on Wednesday. Thank you to Adderker for fixing their server so that we could finally post it. Um, within, like, a day or so, we had positive sign-off on, um, on all the fixes, which was good. Um, so 
so everybody was kind of like, yes, this fixed my issue, yes, this fixed my issue, so that was great. I think uh, I think we've just decided that we will do a rebuild for 4772, which we'll do, I guess we'll do today. We'll try to do that quickly. Hopefully everything will line up and just work, which means, oh, wait, we need to get the build fixed. All right, as soon as Bob says that the build fix is good, uh, and we have that in and kick a build for Wix 3101 again um, and then can push that out again. Hopefully John and some people can try their, just try the build again in their world since you guys have been really responsive about just picking the build up and running it through the typical paces. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, and I think then we'll be very much on track uh, to wait, go back. Didn't want to go there. Um, very much on track to be ready by the 31st. Yeah? I mean, that'll still give us... get this done in the next day or two. Um, build out, that'll still give us a week for this one fix on XP for and, hyperlinks. And, yeah, this one... Hopefully we don't make worse. Easy. Right? Well, and, <laughs> and it shouldn't make things make worse. worse. <laughs> yes. It won't make things worse. This, it's easy Unless to crash it from any Wix standard BA. Right. So, you know, this is, this is easy enough to, to test. We can test it on XP, test it on... Not XP. Uh, 7, XP, 8, yep. maybe even 10. Easy right. enough to test this stuff. Yep, yep, yep. All right, cool. Cool. So I think that's what we'll do, and we're still trying to ship 3.10.1 on Halloween and um, declare success. I agree. All right. Any disagreements on that? People generally are all right with that thinking. See, I did it again to John. He's so fast. This is actually kind of a fun game now. I, I'd say it one way and then say it the other way. So John doesn't disagree. All righty then. Um, I need to go here. So Tuesday afternoons, Tuesdays, Thursdays are starting to get really bad for me. Um, and honestly schedule being where it was. It would be awesome if I could get things scheduled over lunch because that seems to be the one time that I'm pretty much guaranteed not or guaranteed to have open um, every week. So I'd like to propose putting moving the meeting to Fridays at noon. I know that's afternoons on Fridays for some of you, but I'm hoping it's kind of like afternoons, people don't have anything to do, starting to break out the beer, we'll have better conversations in our um, threads. Um, you know, 2 p.m., 3 p.m., I know for you guys on the central and eastern time zones. Um, I'm hoping for Pacific people, lunch will work fine because they might not have meetings as well. Um, that's good. All right, Sean. Thanks. All right. Jacob is another guy's regular. See if Heath can make it too. That's short. All right, cool. So we're getting the regulars to say they should make it, which is the people I'm most obviously worried about since, well, you're the guys that are showing up now. Although it would be lovely if we could get more people around the world, but it's going to always be challenging to hit the other time zones without starting at like really, really, really early in the morning and can't quite get the thing. So uh, usually do team stuff. And yeah. And it's also Tuesdays are ending up being harder. So that's why I really like the end of the week because I think it gives me more time to get organized by the end of the week. It's easier to do that than to be organized from the weekend over. But all right. Well, well it's, it's nice too for for weekend stuff like today. We decided, oh, we're going to take this bug, and that's right. therefore that requires a bit of work before you know um, we can move forward. Um, uh, okay. So it, it'd be nice to have that yeah. that weekend available for stuff like that. All right. So Heath is the one that has you know some team stuff that's kind of overlapping it. So hopefully Heath can just basically go. Fridays are off limits. I'm going to go take beer into my office and I'm going to watch the Wix online meeting and contribute. Hopefully that will work out more weeks than not. Um, but it's given where my schedule's going, it's turning out to be much more likely. And I would I wouldn't mind trying to do it early in the morning to try to get some people in the other time zones. I know some of you guys might be like, oh, but um, but just with uh, moving kids around, that's not going to happen in the next few <laughs> years because I have to push them through their paces. Uh, unless it was like at 4 a.m. my time, I'm pretty much guaranteed that nobody's awake at 4 a.m. Um, but that's like, you know, 6 and 7 o'clock for you central timers and <laughs> very early for Heath as well. It's okay. You can, you can write your own. You can do your own scribing, no problem. Yeah, right. So uh, I'm definitely not doing this by myself, let's be really clear. And who knows, maybe Friday nights 
at noon that will hit eight o'clock for our friends or seven eight o'clock for our friends over in the uh, Europeans, so maybe that they can get on and go, hey, yeah, you know, I'm not going out on a Friday night. Let me do this. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So expect that, I think. So we're going to go for a long week, which we'll talk about the Wix online or the Wix 3101 build. Before that, we'll be come out. We'll do another build. We'll talk about it and say, hey, everybody, please try this build, just like we did the last one. Um, and hopefully October 23rd, which will be next Friday. Uh, we'll stop and talk about, hey, everything looks good. We are a week and a day away. Let's ship it. And hopefully we're done with that. Other stuff, things, things going on. Um, 310 sucking up again the time that we should be spending on other stuff, but eh, I guess that's what it is. Um, I'm going to toss this out here. I haven't thought about it deeply, but I'm going to toss out here, what if we just abandon 311? Because I'm tired of dealing with, Three ten or three, sucking out time of four because we need to go focus on four, and so part of me is like, yeah, let's just abandon three eleven <laughs> and focus on four. But uh, that's probably this is. I'm going to toss that out there. You guys can think about it for next week. Um, it's like, hmm, what would that mean, and how bad is that, and all that kind of good stuff. Anything else people want to talk about? Stuff going on. Migration mainly. Migration to four. Migration to something else. Three to four. Yeah, so we need to make th migration from three to four really easy, and Wix Cop should help make that, should be the place that we do that and find all the issues and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, and we have a bunch of pull requests we need to get in, and a bunch of bug fixes that need to get written, get fixed, and things like bug fixes to be written. I guess that makes sense. So on and so forth. So we need, we need a lot of stuff we need to do in four, and this three keeps coming back and sucking time. So it's just starting to bug me to no end. Writing bugs is so much easier. Yes, it is easy. Very much easier. All right. Doesn't like people have any questions, comments. It's more like we want to talk about four, which I kind of feel similarly. So let's declare this success. Bob and I will get this 310 build out. He'll do the pull request. I'll get the build out. We'll send mail. People can look at it early next week. Or no, wait, it's Tuesday. See, I'm already up on the Friday schedule. Um, people will be able to look at it later this week, um, push it out, <sighs> declare victory, and then hopefully next Friday just kind of make sure all is well, and then we'll keep going. 3101 is only necessary to run quick line XP. XP, and there's one bug fix for if you don't want, if you want to be able to suppress the files in use. That's the other reason why you need it. No, technically, um, any of the... Any of those suppress options? Any of those suppress options on Wix standard BA. None of them work. Um, yeah. Although, uh, Heath, the, uh, just so you know, uh, we had reports that VC Readist has the, an old burn bug in it where it hangs um, during an install. So you guys may want to get, you, know, you need to find that fixed. Sean has it. it was that was already users. deferred. Uh, yeah. So anyway, they need to, all right, well. A hang is bad, so they should think about getting that fix. So it's only a hang on 2008 server, right? No, it's a hang on Vista and uh, down, I think. I forget where it is. That's I sir, 2008 server. Yeah, and same thing. Yeah, same thing. Anyway. All success. Yeah, so. Anyway, um, I guess that's that. Anything else? Things going on? No, nope. we'll keep this meeting to just under a half hour. I think that'll work. Um, and all right, let's wrap up this 310 one thing so we can quit messing around with 310. I'm, if it isn't clear, I'm kind of done with 3x, and I want to be able to focus my energy on 4 instead of being constantly dragged backwards. But well, we'll see I would how very much like to be done with the version that we just released. So yes, yeah, there is that. All right, well, until next Friday. Next Friday is the next meeting. Uh, you guys take it easy. See you later. Bye. Bye.